Hey guys, Anthony here. Quick video today, and I, I did one of these about three years ago. It's just showing this 120 hour new whip candle that they still make and sell today. Uh, this is many, many years old, this candle. Came with this little folding stove here, which is very handy. And what I'm gonna show you today is, with something like this small folding stove in your vehicle, this candle and or this can of sterno fuel you can in essence uh, boil up water for heating up something to drink or something to eat like a soup or a dehydrated mix meal uh, with something as simple as this billy pot zebra pot you could heat up water in here and have yourself a meal now, if you do it with the uh, sterno, which everyone's familiar with, you just light that, and it'll, we'll do a test on this, but it'll, we'll, we'll boil up, try to boil up about eight, 12 ounces of water. Or, you can remove the lid from this Newick candle, which I'm gonna do in just a second. Okay. And there you have, I have three wicks in there right now. I have some spares in here. This is what they look like. You put, you just place them around the candle, spaced out, and then you light them, and they'll provide you with the heat to heat up your um, water. And then all you do is, with this little tweezer, you can move the wicks around once the wax gets uh, starts to get soft. So we're going to come back and we're going to um, heat up some water in our zebra pot using the three wick, new wick. Uh, 120 hour candle to simulate something maybe um, maybe you were stuck in a snowstorm uh, you know in your car and you had something like this new wick as a backup you had a match or a lighter to light it and lo and behold you'll be able to melt snow to drink water to boil something up maybe for ramen noodle and to keep yourself uh, hydrated and uh, alive uh, until rescue comes. So a simple little setup like this guys could spell the difference between life and death and we'll show you how it works and we'll come right back. Thanks. Okay guys we're back. We got our three wicks lit for the candle. I took the little insert out of the zebra kettle. This is a little you know a little frying pan that comes with it. It sits right inside here. It's like this. I've done a video on this guys. I'll try to put it in the link below. I put 12 ounces of water inside the billy pot, put the lid on, we'll place the billy pot on the stove, like so. There you go. Now we'll put our new wick candle, try to give you guys a good shot here, right under. And here it is. So the three wicks are you know, pretty much perfectly aligned right underneath the uh, billy pot. So let's start our stopwatch up and see what we get here. Okay, we got that going. It's uh, 2, 2, 228 p.m. and we just started that off. Um, and this setup here, like I said, could be for an emergency survival situation. Uh, maybe it's a car piece of a car kit you have. Um, but again, you can cook with the Newick candle, 120 hour candle. Great item for your survival kit. Great little folding stove to have. This folds pretty much flat. I keep it in this little Ziploc bag. I have three spare wicks. I keep a box of matches and the little tweezer in there to manipulate the wicks around. And uh, and so there you go. So we'll come back when this is uh, getting ready and um, we'll see how we're doing. In the meantime, I have another video I'm putting together on this product here by a company called Outdoor Products. And they actually contacted me on YouTube and asked me if I would be interested in doing some reviews of some of their gear. I have, um, I think I have a couple of their dry bags, uh, but I said I, sh I, I would. Uh, they said they'd send me some gear. 
this is the first uh, package I received from them. So I'm going to do a video on this um, watertight box uh, soon, hopefully this weekend. I just wanted to show you guys it now. And um, that's again from Outdoor uh, Recreation Group or Outdoor Products. Okay? And we'll be back. Alright guys, it's almost six minutes. So let's just scan back here and check our um, water. I have my little uh, Stanley kit out inside this cook kit here you have two cups so I'm going to use one of these cups for the water I'm boiling up for my for my brew okay so let's lift off the lid with our 511 knife and we got some bubbles in there guys so the water is bubbling at about six minutes it's 12 ounces of water Incidentally, guys, if um, you want some real scientific uh, demonstrations like this, you know, with cooking and heating and different types of fuels and stoves, and check out Hiram Cook's channel. I'll try to put a link in the description box. But uh, he does real, really, really well at this kind of stuff. And I mean, he has the gauges inside the water, and he'll time everything specifically, and you'll get a really good understanding of. You know what what works how long it takes uh, this is just kind of my modeling of it just to get as close as I can I just want to prove a point here that you can boil water uh, bring water to a boil with a candle and this new wick candle you know seven and a half minutes again it's not a marathon guys but we will have be able to have melt snow boil water to drink if we had to disinfect it and um, cook a meal up with this so we'll be back in a few minutes when this is ready to go okay guys we're back it's just just above 18 minutes 31 seconds um, let's check on our water uh, I kind of figured when I started this it was going to be about 15 to 20 minutes to get the water uh, you know hot enough for a drink for coffee or to make some ramen noodles and there you go we got some rolling bubbles certainly hot enough for tea coffee uh, you know rehydrate um, a dehydrated soup or a meal you know a trail meal uh, rice and beans whatever okay guys so you know in just about 20 minutes uh, you could have now certainly I could have speeded this up by putting the other three maybe two more wicks in or all six wicks and this is what the wicks look like let me just give you guys a close-up I think it's a wire coated or excuse me a um, wax coated wire and you set these in right onto the wax and then you light them so you could and you can move them around with your tweezer or your multi-tool and space them around so with you know with three more going I would have had a lot quicker but you guys get the gist that something like this can save your life if you're caught in an ice storm in your car and you're stranded in the middle of nowhere. You have, um, you know, just this set up, you know, with a lighter, a book of matches, and you could definitely stay alive, guys. With this 120-hour candle, it can mean the difference between life and death. So... You know, although it's not a super fast way of cooking or heating water, it is a doable way. It does work. It is an option, and that's what I like to have is options. And so thanks for joining me, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Certainly it's not, uh, you know, a super lightweight piece of gear, um, but definitely good for car, car camping, car survival, your vehicle, um, and worth... Uh, worth every penny I even forget what I paid for it but I think it's it, I know it's under 20 bucks but I'll, I'll try to get a link to it and put it in the description box but thanks for joining me guys again check out these billy pots these are great the handles on them are really nice has a real nice bail to it and um, they come in various sizes this is the smallest one I think this is the 10 centimeter one and they make them you know going up to uh, I think about a gallon size so these are definitely well worth uh, 
putting over a fire. You could suspend it or you could put it right over onto the grill just like I have it here. Thanks for joining me, guys. Take care. Stay ready. God bless. Anthony signing off. The Newick 120-hour candle stove setup.